U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton recently confirmed that President Donald Trump's administration is planning to leave behind a residual counterterrorism American force in Afghanistan to ensure the Taliban keeps its promises if the United States pulls its military out of the country as part of ongoing peace negotiations. Earlier this year, President Trump expressed an interest in leaving behind a small U. S military force that can potentially ensure the Taliban keeps its word of not allowing Afghanistan to serve as a safe haven for international terrorists like the group's ally al-Qaeda and rival the Islamic State, ISIS-ISIL. Bolton spoke to CNN in an interview that aired Sunday amid the latest round of peace negotiations in Qatar between the United States and the Taliban that have been taking place since last week. CNN asked whether or not the Trump administration can trust the Taliban terrorist group to keep its end of the bargain. Bolton responded. I don't trust them just as a matter of faith. They will uphold it if it's in their interest to uphold it. What the president has decided is that it's going to be important to try and keep a counterterrorism presence in Afghanistan. That's a central part of these discussions. I can tell you that senior national security officials have been discussing this issue and how to try and bring it about, how to support the diplomacy that follow our counterterrorism objectives continuously. We will be doing some of more this week. It's a very important point. We're putting a lot of energy in it. But there's no blind trust in the Taliban in this administration. That's for sure. As part of the ongoing talks, The United States has offered to pull out all of its 14,000 forces within five years in exchange for assurances that Afghanistan will not harbor international terrorists. For years, the Pentagon has described the U.S. mission in Afghanistan as preventing the country from harboring international terrorists as it did under Taliban rule before the 9-11 attacks on the American homeland. 